Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ryan, and today I'm going to be reviewing a beer from Sapwood Cellars, and they are based out of Columbia, Maryland. This is their Green Dragon. Their can art, pretty cool. It's usually always has this similar kind of pattern, artsy look to it. So, Green Dragon is a, they're calling this a rye IPA, double dry hopped with Nelson Savan and Southern Cross. And it goes on to say, Nelson Savan is one of our favorite hop varieties thanks to its distinct con contribution of white wine and gooseberry aromatics. Sometimes it needs a partner though, so we paired it with Southern Cross, another New Zealand grown variety. It's a combination suggested by science because the signature thiol in Nelson Savan 3S4MP acts synergistically with the apricot leaning ester from Southern Cross 2MIB to the first, technically. They're getting all sciencey and technical. This was canned on 101823, straight out of Hobbit Hobbiton. Nice. That nice. Okay. So if you don't know, uh, I'm a major uh, Lord of the Rings nerd, and Green Dragon is the name of one of the pubs. I believe, wait, was that in Hobbiton or was it? Uh, I think it was in Hobbiton. And so on the bottom they say straight out of Hobbiton. Nice. Anyway, uh, back to the beer. Ten eighteen twenty three makes this can just under a month old by one day at the time of this review. <clears throat> uh. Yeah, and I think on tap pretty much said the same thing. Didn't really mean to get into the tasting notes, but I did. <laughs> What's the ABV? ABV is 6.3%. Let's bust it open. A rye IPA. I don't think I ever had a rye IPA, so this should be interesting. interesting and different and as I've said it many times before I like different so that pours out a light murky yellow coloration almost pushing milky uh, half a finger of white soap sudsy head yeah camera's picking that up fairly well See, it's almost milky. Some slow rising bubbles. <clears throat> Let's get a nose on her. So I'm getting like notes of I want to say like cedar almost, but uh, it's probably the you know the rye spice. Yep, it's definitely a rye spice. But then I'm getting a lot of juicy like stone fruits in there. And there's something else that was just on the tip of my tongue, my tongue. Oh yeah, there's there's like a slight funk to it. But it's yeah, not like a, I don't know how to explain it actually. It's a, a very light funk aroma. But yeah, that's an interesting combination. You got the, the, the rye spice, which reminds me kind of like a cedar aspect. And then you have the, the juicy stone fruits like the apricot. All right, I'm diving in, cheers. Oh, 
Damn. Yeah, I'm going to have to start driving an hour to this place and just stocking up on some of their stuff. So, higher side to medium body. It's got a smooth mouthfeel. I already see lacing on the glass. I'll just get this out of the way because I forget sometimes. 6.3%. Can't tell it's 6.3%. Actually, the body and mouthfeel actually feels more like an 8%. Yeah. This <laughs> so, up front, I'm getting that apricot. And then I'm also getting this like uh, lemon lime, like lemon lime juice and, and, and zest as well. Um, midway through the palate, you get hints of that rye spice. And then on the finish, I'm getting a, a touch of funk. And it's not like a barnyard funk. I, I can't really uh, uh, bring to words the funk that I'm talking about. We got the funk. Anyway. My God. I sent a photo of this can to a friend of mine that uh, right before the review who also likes Lord of the Rings, and he is now spamming me with texts. <laughs> I'm also getting white, white grape, like white wine, which makes sense, and they did mention that, I believe. Uh... They have, it's way too long of a paragraph for me to scan that real quick. Yeah, man, this is good. Apricot up front, along with that lemon lime, and, and the white wine, or the white grape. You have that subtle rye spice in there. This is damn good. Um... Good, I got two minutes left. I could kind of take my time. Um, these guys, they, they've been knocking it out of the park, uh, I would say, and I've heard many people uh, here in Maryland just rant and rave about these guys, as well as um, Elder Pine. And they're always like, you have to go, you have to go. The problem is they're an hour away. And it's like, if I go, what am I going to do? Just have one beer and then drive an hour back? I don't know. I'll figure something out. One more sip before I call it quits here. Yeah, man. That body mouthfeel with the juiciness, it's just, this is great. All right, so Sapwood Cellars. Their Green Dragon, a rye IPA, double dry hopped with Nelson Savant and Southern Cross. I'm giving this a four point, yeah, I'm giving it a 4.5 out of five. I'm almost like, wanna go slightly higher, but I'm gonna stick with 4.5 out of five. So that's all for this video. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and comment down below. Let me know, have you had anything from Sapwood Cellars, and what did you think of it? And then if you did, let me know if you specifically had Green Dragon, and what you thought of that. Until next time, peace.